Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Math Dealers. Today we'll be learning about rational functions. A rational function is a function whose equation is a fraction, given that the degree of the denominator is not zero. Here are some examples of rational functions. The standard one is y equals 1 over x, there's also y equals 1 over x squared, and there's an infinite number of other rational functions that you can make with all sorts of numbers. Some look relatively normal when you graph them, and some look totally crazy, which you'll probably learn in university. Here are a few examples of functions that aren't rational. Trigonometric functions like y equals tan x, trinomial functions like x squared plus 4x plus 2, and don't be fooled by y equals x over 5. You may think it's rational at first because it's a fraction, but this equation is really a linear function because the degree of the denominator is zero. Another example of a function that isn't rational is, whoa -ho! Let's draw a sine wave through that one. An epic high five is a great relevant example of a rational function that's applied in your day-to-day -day life. The equation y equals 1 over x squared can be used to model this situation. Watch as Finn and Jake come from opposite yeah. ends of the earth, getting closer and closer until... Yeah. Yeah. The ultimate high five occurs. Let's make a quick sketch of what this function looks like on paper. First, we make a Cartesian plane, then scale it, and for further accuracy, let's make a table of values. A good number to start with would be negative 2. When you plug in negative 2 to 1 over x squared, you'll get 1 over negative 2 squared, which is 1 over 4. Now let's try negative 1. 1 over negative 1 squared is 1 over 1, which is just 1. Remember to always put your x values in brackets so that when they get squared, the negative gets cancelled out. Then we just add a few more values, some negative, some positive, until we could finally plot the points. All you have to do is connect the dots and voila, you've got yourself a great rational high five. Remember to label your axes and asymptotes. The degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. So we know that there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. This is because Finn and Jake never go underground in this situation. Because of this, we know that there's no x-intercept. When we set the denominator to zero, we find out that the vertical asymptote occurs at x equals zero which means that there aren't any y-intercepts either. So there you go! Why don't we see this in action one more time, now that we grasp the maths behind it? Super ultimate high five, go! <laughs> in this situation, the asymptote at x equals zero represents the moment when their hands stop moving towards each other. It's a boundary because Finn and Jake's hands can't go through each other. Keep in mind that this is a realistic application of rational functions. In a theoretical situation, Finn and Jake's hands would keep going closer and closer and never ever touch, so they would have to be immortal and extremely patient for this to be a true rational function. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. Although it is very similar to the philosophical paradox presented by Zeno around 450 BC and retold by Aristotle a hundred years later, called the dichotomy paradox, in which to get from one location to another, you must reach the halfway point in between these locations, and the halfway point between those still, and so on to infinity, thus never truly allowing you to reach point B. Sound familiar? It's almost asymptotic. That's right, even philosophies can be modeled by rational functions. Now it's time to expand our knowledge. Let's work through a few questions to fully pave those neural passageways. Let's say William Shakespeare and Albert Einstein are actually immortal and want to have the best rational high five in the universe. Because you already know how to transform functions, you basically have the equation set up for you. All we need to do is find the k value, or stretch factor. There. That means that the final answer will be y equals 2 times 1 over x plus 3 squared. Let's try the second question. You don't have to change much for this one. Perfect. Your final answer will be 2 times 1 over x plus 3. And that's all you need to know about rational functions. It's as easy as that. Remember, with a little bit of practice, you can improve exponentially. That was... Awesome. As always, thanks for watching.